Welcome to Antalya, Turkey, for the 19th FITA Golden Arrow European Archery Grand Prix and the second series of the World Cup 2006 event. It's a glorious day in this coastal holiday resort on the Mediterranean. As the president of FITA, I am very happy uh, for our archers' interest in this uh, nice tournament because, uh, as you know, this is uh, one of the important steps of our new uh, circuit, World Cup. Forty-five nations are here with their uh, really high-level uh, archers. This is a, a very good feeling for me because I was the president of the Turkish Archery Federation for many years. And I, I spent a lot of time uh, for this field. As you know, this is the permanent field for, for only archery sports. As the FITA management, we believe that uh, archery will be one of the essential sports in the Olympic program because, because archery is a really uh, nice traditional sport a natural sport, our expectation is really very high. <laughs> this is the 19th competition. It's different. This is a World Cup. It's not just a golden arrow this year. Antalya is really a historical city because of its culture and its tourism. Aside from the field this year, the teams can go and explore the city. FITA is working hard to bring new things and new systems to the competition. Evolving archery, and as you can see here, things that haven't been done before are now happening. We think this is better than the past. The President and the Organising Committee welcome everyone to Antalya and we wish them all luck. Federasyon Başkanı olarak, Organizasyon Komitesi olarak hepimiz. Welcome now to the men's compound bronze. It's El Salvador against Switzerland as Jorge Jimenez meets the Swiss Patricia Hoffer. Hoffer in target two. So it's Jimenez who starts. His country, by the way, will be hosting the third series of the World Cup. Will he catch up on Hoffer's lead? Looks good. It is a ten. Offer could be outdone. Ten. No chance. It's a ten. Jimenez now the second arrow in the second end. Nine. It's a nine. Hoffer doing well so far. Ten. That's another ten for Hoffer. Jimenez now starting to struggle. Shoots now a bit in hope, really. Nine Only a nine. Mr. Jimenez, nine and ten by just a couple of millimeters or two of those shots. Offer again now, last arrow of this end. Ten. And that is a ten. Three tens in a row. During the third end, Hoffer managed to increase his lead by another point. 
The score as we start the final end is now Jimenez 82, Hoffer a call 87. Jimenez to start, he must be losing confident, but he manages not to let it show. Good for him, it's a 10, the best he can hope for. Will Hoffer lose his enormous lead? Concentration now. Nine. It's a nine, so he's lowered his lead by a jot. Two arrows to go. Jimenez now at the penultimate arrow. Ten. Ten. Just what he needs. Could he be catching up with Hoffer? Hoffer to shoot. Ten points. Also a ten. Final. Now back to Jimenez for the last arrow. What is the best he can hope for here? Here it comes. Ten, 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 a ten. Four. That's three tens in a row. A great final end. Hoffer now. A little bit nervous, maybe. Eight. Only an eight. Well, Jimenez shot, shot magnificently in that fourth end and caught up some of his lost points, but it wasn't enough to close the gap. Final score, Jorge Jimenez of El Salvador, 112. The winner, Patricio Hoffer, with 114. I'm glad because I came here and now I gained third place. At this moment, I would like to thank all the people who supported me and who are rooting for me. So next is El Salvador, and there again, I hope to do better. We now come to the men's compound gold medal. Peter Elzinger playing for the Netherlands, Robovel dos Santos for Brazil. Two highly talented archers, the first three ends are real inspiration. Peter Elzinger from the Netherlands, off first. And what a shot, an X, 10 points. Dos Santos was leading, so can he keep it up? Nine. Oh, oh dear, a nine, that means the score is even. Back to the Netherlands now, Elzinger can feel the tension mounting. He has to control himself, will he? And yes, he did. That's a 10. Dos Santos now. A 10. Such a close match. Last arrow now for Elzinger. The final shot. Slight disappointment there, a nine. Last shot of the match, perhaps. Dos Santos takes aim, thinking hard. It's a bit too hard, it's a nine. It's a tie, Elzinger and Dos Santos both with 117 points, so the match is not over yet. What a great pair they make, almost flawless shooting, all tens and a few nines, nothing lower. So, it'll be a tie break. So it's Dos Santos to start, and it's a ten. So both players are faced with a second shootout, the first time in this series, such high standards here. Now Elzinger has to make a supreme effort or he could lose the match. Ten, Ten. good heavens. Both players are now faced with a second shootout, the first time in this series. Such high standards. Dos Santos start again. And it's a 10. No leeway for Elzinger. Anything less than a 10 and it's the end. What must he be thinking? Oh, and it's a 10 again. How exciting. Elzinger and Dos Santos are now neck and neck. Unbelievable. Third arrow shoots off now. 
judges will be holding up the calipers, looking, looking to see which archer is closest to center. So Dos Santos again, can he keep up the pace? A nine, could he be flagging? Elzinger has now a slightly easier task. This could ease the pressure for him. Unbelievable, a nine for Elzinger. At this stage of the match, the judges take the measurements of the arrowhead from the center of the target, the only deciding factor. Just to recap, the score stands at 117 out of a possible 120 for both players. Excellent shooting. The suspense is palpable. The judges made very, very careful measurements here. It all hinges on that tape measure. And the judges have confirmed that the winner by just two millimeters is Roberto Dos Santos of Brazil. So after such a fine battle, Peter Elzinger of the Netherlands is in second place. A breathtaking spectacle. What a match. When I shot a nine, I think, oh, sir, uh, I, I lost. But Peter Elzinger shot a nine too, and I, I, I'm really sorry about the nine because I, I think I don't deserve to win with a nine. But this is the game, this is the game. Brazil! Vamos lá, Brazil, a Copa do Mundo tá aí. Let's take a look at a couple of personalities from two generations of archers here in Antalya. The winner of the gold medal in the men's recurve in Porich, Jayanta Talukta from India. My father inspired me because he liked this game. Uh, when I win in Forex, uh, I think that uh, it's my beginning. And, and I think that uh, in Antalya also, I don't think that I, I can win in Antalya also, but I just think that I, can, I will do my best. I lost my confidence because in my techniques I, I have some mistakes for that for my in my anchor side and my left shoulder side. That's why I, I didn't uh, I can't do well this time. I'm trying to improve my game also and uh, the, I see from last two years my performance is going up and I think then I can do better in future. My father told me that uh, don't try to win a medal. You just try to do your best. And now old hand Hiroshi Yamamoto from Japan, renowned for his calm, smiling performance. I didn't go to Porich because two weeks ago we had the final trials for the Asian Games in Japan. So this was the most important game for me. I will do my best every day, every day, and finally reach the gold medal in Beijing, the Asian Games. The most important thing is every day, training, day by day. That training is not just for the gold medal. Maybe finally it might bring me the gold medal, but it's a kind of relaxation from my daily job, shooting. It's a very happy time for me. We've reached the women's recurve gold medal. Competing are the top two seeds, China's Quan Zheling, number one, and number two, Kim Yumi from Korea. Okay, now we're into the deciding end, the fourth end. Kim with the lower score to start. Well, maybe she has a 10. Looks very hopeful. Come on now. And that's a 10. Would you believe it? Back to Kim. She has to keep her mind strong if she's to stand a chance. Good shot. Another 10. Quan stealing herself now. Hey. 
A 10, that puts her in with a strong chance. Kim to shoot her last arrow. She mustn't lose her resolve at this stage now. That is a great shot, that's a 10. Kwan doesn't need to try that hard, really. Nine will win. It's a nine. And it's a nine. One that is the end of the match. And Quan Zhe-Ling from China is the winner with a score of 110. Kim Yu-Mi of Korea just one point behind with 109. She put up an excellent fight against her formidable opponent. What a close game that was. Italy meets Bulgaria for the men's recurve bronze medal next. Italy's Micheli Frangilli is ranked 12th. He meets 18th seed Bulgaria's Havor Vasilev Christoph. This is the second end with Christoph in target two shooting the first arrow. And that's a nine for the Bulgarian. Frangilli now, will he keep up his run of luck from the first end? Nine Not one. quite a nine. Christoph must be cheered by that. Ten. Oh, more than that, more than cheered. He has a ten right on the bullseye. Frankie not so confident now. Will he show it though? Maybe he is showing it. An eight. That must play on his mind. So can the Bulgarian make the most of his chance? Ten. Yes, a ten. Incredible. That's settling for now for Frank Gelly. Will he regain top form? At nine, doesn't look like it. So the scores are now reversed at the end of that round with Christoph of Bulgaria in the lead by one point with 57. Frangilli of Italy, 56. This time Frangilli, who is in second place, he starts the fourth and final end. And it is a rather tense time for him now. And it is a 10. Christoph has to keep his head to maintain his lead. And he does it. A straight 10. Frangilli must be feeling a little uneasy now as he close approaches, takes aim. Nine. It's a nine. His confidence is slipping. Now, however, it is a boost for Christoph, riding high at the moment. Ten. And it's a 10. Now, the last arrow for Frank Gilly, who must be feeling all but lost inside. How will he end? A last great shot, a 10. Christoph is on a roll, final shot of the match. And it's a nine. In spite of a disappointing last arrow, Havor Vasilev Christoph of Bulgaria is the winner with 113 points to gain the men's recurve bronze medal. He beat Italy's Micheli Frangilli, who scored 111. Frangilli made a great start, but seemed to go downhill after that. A wonderful game as the fortunes swung, and the winner was a less predictable Bulgarian. This is the third time that I shoot against him, and this time I did well, and this time I managed to win. We come now to the last match of what has been a fantastic series here in Antalya. 
two players of the great following. The Korean Park King Mu seeded number one against Japan's hugely popular and always smiling Hiroshi Yamamoto. In the first end, Park had a one point lead with 28 points to Yamamoto's 27. So it's Yamamoto to start in target two. An eight. Yamamoto seems below par so far. Can Park keep up his lead? He can keep his lead up, certainly. An excellent X, 10 points. Yamamoto now looking a little less relaxed. Very focused. Ah, that was worth taking the trouble, 10 points. Over to Park, he must be starting to feel good. Nine points. Is Park's luck turning, we ask ourselves. Yamamoto needs to try hard. Oh dear, another eight. Decidedly off colour in this game so far. Park, the final arrow of the second end. And that's a 10. So at the halfway mark, Park has a resounding 57, while Yamamoto has only struggled to 52. That means he needs to catch up five points just to break even. In the third end, Park maintained his five point lead, finishing with a score of 86 to Yamamoto's 81. Yamamoto, Olympic medalist in 1984 and again in 2004. He'll start the fourth end. That's a nine. Points. Does not Swear go well. Park shooting now. Nine. And that's a nine too. Each archer with two arrows remaining. Yamamoto needs to give it his all to improve his score. Nine and yet again a nine, not his best day. Park, however, in quite good form at the moment. Yep, ten points. proves it. That's another Final ten. This really now is last gasp for Yamamoto. The force does not seem to be with him today. And that is really nine still points. not with him at all. That's nine points. Now Mr. Park's Park now looking very confident. His end shot. Win. It's a nine. And that's a nine. So Park Kyung Mo of Korea has a resounding victory over twice Olympic gold medalist Hiroshi Yamamoto. The score 114 to 108. And Park did deserve to win here. He beat Yamamoto in every one of the four ends. Let's hope Yamamoto is back to his usual top form soon. This is the first time against Yamamoto. He won all three previous times. So this is a new system. First time with a new system. And I'm very happy.
Well, that's all from the second series of the FITA Archery World Cup and European Grand Prix here in Italia, Turkey. We look forward to your company for the third series in San Salvador, starting on the 20th of June. Till then, from all of us here in Italia, goodbye.